Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Project. Today we are going to make simple login form with validation using the help of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. First take a look what we are going to make. You can see this is a login form which take username and password. When I click on username and password, its size get automatically big and its color also changing. Now if I enter wrong detail, then it show me a message of login fail. But when I enter correct detail, it show a login successful. You can also open new web page here. So let's start. I use Visual Studio Code here for creating this. If you want to know how to download it, then I give a link in description for downloading it. I just open my Visual Studio Code. Now click on the file and click on new file. Save it as login.html. You can also give any name here. First we create a basic login page, then we add design to it and at last we add validation with the help of JavaScript. Take a doc type as a HTML then write HTML tag, language en which means English and directory itr which means left to right code. This is an intelligent editor, it automatically loads the HTML and all other tags. Now take head tag and then type meta then set equal utf8 in inverted comma and then close this. The utf8 help to encoding the all character on web. Now give title to your login form. I give name as interactive login form. You can give anything here. This title is appear on the top of the browser where you open new tabs. Now we create the body of our form. So take body tag. In body we want a form type structure. So take a form tag then create a class with any name. I give name box here. Now set the action equal your file name. Now select the method post. Now first we want a heading which show it is a login form. So take a heading with h1 tag and write login in it. Now we want two text fields which take username and password. So type input and type equal text. It take text from user. Now give name. You can set it blank or give any name. Now write placeholder. This is the text which appear on the text box in fade color and when you write something it automatically get removed. Now give a special id to this which help to validate our form with the help of javascript. I give id name here, username, you can give anything. Now copy this line and paste this and change the input type from text to password and also change in placeholder. You can write anything here according to your choice. And also change the id name from username to password. Now again copy this and paste it. Change the input type to submit. This submit will create a button. Now write value equal which you want in your login button. I want login so I just write login here. Remove the id because we don't need id for button. Just save it and check it how it is look. I save it on desktop. You have to open where you save it. Now we can see the login page is created successfully. Now we apply design with the help of CSS so open the editor again. Create a new file and save it with .css extension. Now first we implement this file in our main html file. So in the head tag type here link rel relative equal style sheet. Then href give the file name and then close this. Now go to your style file. Now first we create the body. So type body then curly braces give margin here 0 and padding also 0. Here I give font sans serif. You can give any font according to your choice. We write the class name with dot. If you don't know where is the class name, you can see this is our class name. First we create the transparent box where username and password field are placed. Set the width to 300px, set the padding 30px, top equal 50% and left equal 50%. It helped to center the box. Now transform translate at the minimum minus 50 minus 50%. This function help the enlarge the text field, not set the box color background.rgba and pass here 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0,0,0,0.4 You can set any color just by taking mouse cursor on this code. Set the text to the center. One thing is left, give the position absolute. Now we change the font of the login text. So take class again, dot box, write h1, this is your first heading. I give color here white, you can give any color. Now transform the text to the uppercase. I set the font little bold by font weight. 
it is your choice how much bold you want or not now we edit our username and password field now write dot box one for username and one for password now curly braces set the border to zero and set the background color to none you can also give any color set display right block in display set margin 20px auto set set the text into center give the border color here i give this color you can give any color according to your choice by taking the cursor of your mouse here here set the padding 14px 10px and width of the box anything according to your choice now now set the outline color now set the border radius here it is 24px now set the transition transition helps to change the color when you take your mouse cursor on the password field or username field now we want when we click on text field or password field it get enlarged so write the code for it first copy the same line and paste it here just write focus with colon symbol after the large bracket take curly braces and set width and border color according to your choice now we write the code for submit button so take dot box class with the input type submit copy the same our code and paste it here just write cursor and then pointer here remove the width and change the border color also now we give the hover effect this will help to glow the button when we click on it so copy this line and paste it now write hover with colon after bracket now code is complete now we set the background image take any image to the desktop and then write the code in the body background colon url and pass the image name with the extension and set background size cover now save all the code and check it by run and we can see everything work fine the login button is little bit smaller so go to the code now go in submit button section change the padding to 10px to 35 again save it now check it and you can see it look perfect Now it's done and we write code for validation with the help of javascript take a new file and save it with js extension first implement this file into the main file of html so type script src file name and then close it on click login button we want to validate so i call validate function here by on clicking now go to js file type function validate now curly braces take two variable username and password which get username and password from the user with the help of function get element by id this is your id name which is assigned earlier now we run the if else condition if If username equal admin and password equal equal user then the code is working you can set any username and password here after get successfully we print a message with the help of alert login successful you can also open new web page here now in else condition just write login fail now the code is complete check it by running and you can see when i enter correct detail it show me a message of login successful after entering wrong detail it show me a message of fail thanks guys for watching this video i hope you like this thank you